and 22, 6 1 goes Franku, 5 11. Nobody got made off. And there you see the slight reach advantage to the Aussie, Matt Franku. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Alienware, the ultimate gaming experience. We're scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Welterweight Division. And now introducing on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, his record, impressive, seven victories with only a single defeat, four wins coming by way of knockout, two by submission. Standing six feet and one inch tall, weighing 170 and one half pounds, fighting out of Tempe, Arizona, by way of of Gold Coast, Australia, introducing the Thunder from Down Under, Matt Franku. And now his opponent across the Decagon fighting out of the red corner. His record, 11 victories, only one defeat, six wins by knockout, three by submission. Standing five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing 169 pounds, fighting out of Makachkala, Russia, presenting Abubakar Nurmagomedov. Your referee for this fight, is Mark Smith. So Mark Smith in charge of the action in this welterweight bout scheduled for three rounds. Nurmagomedov in the blue trunks, Frinku in the black with the red trim. I have a feeling this is not going to go to distance. Abubakar, ready? Fight's on. There's going to be an explosion. Both very talented fighters, excellent athletes. We'll see how Frinku handles the pace that Nurmagomedov usually throws at fighters. Put it up there. Bring it back straight. Bring it back straight. Nope. Chase him, Matt. Cut it off. Cut it off. And this Cut is something off. that Abubakar does a lot of times. He measures this fighter for the first oh, 20 or 30 seconds, and then he unleashes. Very smart. He lets him throw. Figures out the reach of his opponent. Very smart thing. I like to do it as well. I put my hands down, so they're going to go for my head. Yep. Abubakar getting the first takedown of the fight, and he is very lethal on the ground. Wow, Franku on a scramble. How relaxed did he get that takedown? So now Franku has to figure out this puzzle, goes to a closed guard, and Nurmagomedov now will probably posture up, boss. What do you expect him to do with this position? He has to, but his opponent's already bear hugging him. They're holding him. He doesn't want to let him go because he doesn't want to give him space because then he can load up with his shots. And that's one of the things you got to love about Mega Madoff, the way he fights, he always stays busy. Not one to sit and let the judges separate or stand him back up. He is going to stay busy in any position. It's hard now to, to pull away from Frinku because you know they're not sweating yet. Everything is, there's a lot of traction. The simple uh, wizards from here can do it. Well, he's going for body shots there. Left hooks to the body. Yep, that's right. Left starts with and L. Here it is. Delivered. So posture up and a scramble back to the feet and a nice job by Frinku. And he gets busy as Nurmagomedov tries the judo throw and Frinku does a great job of defending it. Frinku slipped in a nice little knee there to the body in between. This has got the makings of a great fight after that early scramble, boss. Really hard to give the advantage to anyone as Nurmagomedov gets the takedown, but Franku does a great job of getting out of there. Wow, look at that. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Straight right coming from Nurmagomedov. He didn't drive through with his takedown. It's almost he didn't. You see? Again, he stops. Big looping right from Frank when he gets caught by Nurmagomedov. Well, I tell you, they come together like two battering rams. Yeah, there's a lot of force there. 150 to go here in round number one. This is the first scheduled for three. 
Trinku showing his range, going top shelf there with that kick, but not really connecting. Yeah, they're still trying to figure out the yeah. range. It's still not there. Just a one inch reach advantage to Frinku at 74 to 73. But his kick's really devastating. And another nice takedown by Abubakar. Can he keep it there? Yep. Boy, Abubakar has no problem coming right back in and engaging. Does not fear the up kicks of Frinku. Puts him up against the fans. But he has to start unloading now. He's looking for an armbar, I think. On the right arm. Matt, we work from down here. Remember, slap the ear. He's just holding it there. Watching Franku look up at the big jumbo screen in the corner, see exactly what his position's like, and he knows it's not good right now as Nurmagomedov has just pushed him up against, really almost compacted him up against the cage, it has him almost folded in half, and Frinku trying to catch his breath, but he's taking those body shots again as Abubakar continues to go to work first on the left and then on the right. Yeah, they don't look hard to shots to the body, but they, they are. I truly believe so. So Frinku gets on the scramble, gets back to his feet. Final moments of round number one. And Boss Rutten, the way these guys came off their stools in their corners, they do not look to have a problem with cardio or fitness round. in this Point. fight. These guys don't. No, they came from way too far. I mean, it's a 16-hour flight from Australia, so... And I don't know how much from Russia. It's probably like 12, I guess. It's a little further than... The, it depends where in Russia, yep. because that's a pretty big country. So it's Australia versus Russia, and it is Nurmagomedov right now in the top position with the blue trunks, almost getting caught with the right that foot of Matt nice. Frinku with up kick. Yeah, that was nice. Frinku now closing his guard, trying to get some work done and controlling the head of Abubakar. Look at this. He's going for some upper level jujitsu there. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Abubakar, hold your position, I'm gonna stand you up. Boy, just tenderizing the left side of Matt Frink, who is Nurmagomedov. Nurmagomedov continues to rain down those punches, going from rib cage to head. Yeah, but you know, it's not like they're gonna stop right? Frink. He's got a closed guard, but his corner, Matt Frink, who I'm speaking of right now, they're telling him to walk the legs up. Do you agree with what they're saying? Yes, I do, I do. He needs to get up, he needs to get back up, he needs to post. His arm backwards, he needs to sit on his butt and they get up. This will not make him get up. He needs to drop his butt now. Hopefully, can he grab an ankle and push uh, Abu Nurmagomedov backwards? It is all Nurmagomedov right now here in round two with 3.25 to go. Frinku looking for an opening to try to scramble back to his feet. Doesn't see it. Goes back to the closed guard again. And again, the corner of Frinku calling him from the wall walk. Boss, he's got to disengage that closed guard, get his feet underneath him, and then just try to push off and hope he doesn't get caught. Exactly. He, that's what he needs to do. Open the guard. He's got to move to the side. He needs some space. And this is something, obviously, all these fighters practice, getting in a, in a position like this, but being able to execute it after already fought a very tough round against a very difficult opponent who's going to keep the pressure on is another story. Well, let's see if he can roll on his belly now. I don't think so. His knee is still stopping it. The body from Nurmagomedov is stopping it. This is better. Yeah. And now it goes from bad to worse as he gives up the back now. And Franco is just hanging on. I think Frank is in a world of hurt right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nurmagomedov is doing great. Just continuing to put the pressure on. Now those big punches are going to the face. He's having a hard time deflecting those blows as he rolls back into it. It might be the best thing for him because giving up the back to a powerful fighter like Abubakar is no place to be. And this is going to go very wrong here in a second. Yeah, they're going to stop the fight if he doesn't do anything. He needs to improve his position. That's it. That is it. 
Yep. Well, they you tell okay? the fighters over and over again in the dressing room, if you do not intelligently defend yourself, we got to stop the fight. Don't come to me complaining. Yep. And then they say it again and again. They say it two or three times. But, boss, what could he have done? I mean, Nurmagomedov was just teeing off. He had taken the back. Frinku was apparently, he had been caught a few times. It just did not look like he was responding. Nurmagomedov just unloaded. Look at this. It's, it's, it's on him. You know, it's yep. like a, a wet suit. <laughs> Hanging, no space, put the hook in there right away. That's a 175 pound wet suit. Look, and with his right hand, he's, he's stopping the right arm from his opponent so he can hit him. Yeah, Franco had a re re really bad time there. And now he's going to turn on his belly in a bit because he's still holding on and he's going to put two hooks in. Boom, boom. There we got the two hooks now. And now he can create some space so he can remove his upper body away from the opponent. And that means he can strike harder because he has space. Now he's going to roll on his belly and then the referee's going to stop it. Oh, no, on his back, I mean. You see here? Yeah. And then he stopped it. And, and it was actually, if I was the referee, I would have given it three more strikes because once you're on your back, you can see the strikes coming, coming. You can try to put him in the guard. So the international card goes the way of Russia. Abubakar Namagamedov taking down Aussie Matt Frinku in a very exciting fight. First round was very even in the welterweight division. The second round, the stoppage comes. And with that, we now send it inside the cage, and that is where Jazz Securo has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has seen enough to stop the fight at three minutes and five seconds of round number two, officially a TKO due to strikes, and your winner, Abubakar Nurmagomedov!